All right, good evening, you two. I got my brother-in-law, Ralph. <laughs> he came up for a secret visit. He's here, we're gonna do a coffee challenge. Here we go. And uh, he, uh, he just sent me into 999 subscribers today. 999 subscribers, so uh, thank you everybody for pitching in and getting, getting me, Gary. You guys, uh, you guys have been great. Uh, we're gonna whip up some coffee here tonight on the peak, the peak one. If you stick around, we'll get this fired up and uh, we'll have some coffee. All right, again, we got the peak one. We're gonna use the Stanley press. You wanna go ahead and fill, fill up our it's both of us, for, so we'll go up, we'll do the big top. Don't mind the dust inside? Oh, a little dust never hurt anybody, right? <laughs> All right, real quick story, just so that you know. Uh, I would not be here today if it wasn't for my brother-in-law. He saved my life. For real. So, that's another story, right? That's another story. We might get into it, but uh, he's got the water poured in here. Let's try to start the, the stove with the ferro rods. I'll put a tick in there. All right. We got plenty of pumps there. We got a hiss. Can you guys see? Yeah. Boom. Boom, one, one time. One and done. <laughs> Do you believe it? <laughs> Don't believe it. Little movie magic. Little movie magic. Little movie magic. So let's see. Let's clean this up a little bit. Get that going. I'll give a few more pumps. Blue. In the dead of winter. There we go. There it goes. All right, let's stick that bad boy on there. What we're gonna do, we're gonna use the Pete's Black, or no, Dark Roast, Pete's Dark Roast French Roast. Get this to a boil, and then uh, dump it in there. There we go. So the story, when was that? 90? 90. 90. 1990? 90. 89, 90. 1990. We were up in Seattle. And uh, I had a mini truck club. And uh, we were, what we were doing, we were doing some, we were doing some pretty extensive work in this little tiny garage at, at this apartment that I lived in. Yep. And you could barely, the, the truck could barely even back in, but it's backed in. And the, the truck almost fits the garage perfect, right? Almost fits the garage. I've been on him for years. Get a true jack and jack stands. Jack stands. Because he was on scissor jacks. He was on a block of wood. And it just, you know, I was raised with, you do it right if you're going to get underneath the car. So finally, he takes my advice. Goes out, purchases a great jack. Awesome jack it's stands. A craftsman. Yeah, it's a good one. And, uh... He was working on it. I got hungry, you know. I didn't get this big from uh, not eating. So I go in to get some, get some get some lunch. Was up there eating. I said, "Man, I should get back to Steve." Melissa was in the house. In the house. I'm down in the. I'm down working. I'm still. I, I must be doing something with the rear leaf springs. Leaf, rear leaf springs, shocks, something. And uh, so I said, "Hey, I'm gonna get back down and see what's going on." I'm down there. He's underneath the truck. We talk a little bit. He goes to bring the jack handle down because uh, it was so low, he pulled the handle out. Pulled the handle out and then the yep. the, uh, the shoulder poop, yep. the, popped up. The, the, where you put the handle into, it pops up. So he was having a hard time getting it down. So he shoves a big screwdriver in there to pry it down so he can get the handle in. Well, when he hit the, uh, the screwdriver, it, hit, it turned the gears and released everything down on top of it. 
right on top, right, the whole truck was on top of me. The shoulder blade and I'm, with the shock. I'm sideways, right? I'm actually laying on my side and there, a bolt from like the, the under, the, the under part the of the spring mount. actually went into the back. I still have the scar and it pinned me. So, so I'm actually, I remember vividly my legs just flailing and I can't breathe, I can't talk, but I was taking like these huge breaths. He's trying to lift the, he's trying to lift the truck. The only time he can breathe is when I, I'm, I'm on the bumper doing, you know, trying to do the man, he man, pick the thing I up. one breath. He can get a breath, hold it up. I set it back down because I was just, I couldn't do it anymore. I think the second time I get it up and he goes, get a jack. I mean, he could just barely get that out. And so I had to let it back down on me, back on him. Luckily there was a scissor jack right there on the um, foundation edge. And so I'm spinning it and I get it underneath the bumper, anything flat. I'm spinning it as fast as I can, cutting and, my hands and, bleeding. And by this time I've given up. By this time I've, it took everything I could do to try to get like even a partial breath. And my legs are like flipping around like a fish. I do remember that. And uh, I'm going out at this point. Oh yeah. At this point I'm, I'm out. And I, at the same time, I'm I'm cranking this little scissor jack up on the bumper. Luckily, the truck was kind of it was low, and so once I started getting it range, ranged up and it's almost peeking out, I can hear him finally go <gasps> where he could actually take a breath. And so I get it all the way up, and uh, I just remember I grabbed his arm and his leg and just slowly dragged him out where he wasn't underneath the truck anymore. And uh, man, just to see him breathing, you know, and obviously he had to, you know, hold himself together. Saved my life, no two ways about it. Uh, had you gone in and stayed in the house, that had been over, yeah. it had been done. 10 if minutes, you, if 10 you minutes more. If it would have been, if you would have, I don't know, something caught his, you know, uh, had, to go, show, had to go to the bathroom. Whatever, it would have been, been over. I remember going to the hospital I, don't, I think I don't think I had any crushed ribs or anything like that, but I, get a bruise, I had uh, bruised my, kidney uh, or bruised spleen. Bruised, bruised spleen. My uh, blood vessels in my eyes were shot, so I had like two black eyes. But there you have it. The story never told, or not. Yeah, it's been it's very been a few, long time. Yeah. But uh, thank you, Ralph. So we'll do, uh, we'll come back here. This is quite a bit of water right here. It's laboring and we're gonna do a coffee challenge. This one's gonna go out to Ralph. <laughs> we'll be right back. All right, so we got the big forces in, put the windshield in or the windbreak, that's helpful. But actually, look at it, it's starting to, we got bubbles. We got little bubbles. Little it's happening. Little debris. It's happening. <laughs> All right, we got a roller. Look at that beauty. All right, put it in, Ralph. Get the... What do we get for coffee today? Nice beets? Yep. Dark rolls? Yep. All right, don't ask. <laughs> don't ask, but there might be a blooper at the end. We'll just see. But uh, we're bringing her back up to uh, a boil here. We'll be right back. Okay, here we go. So now I'll go ahead and uh, put our dark roast in there. Nice. That should do it. Give it a little stir. Mm, smell it. Smell good. And then just set that, just push it down, just, just a skosh on the top there, and we'll be right back. Yep, she's ready. Mm-hmm. Have all my kids done a uh, 
I think I got coffee challenge. Yeah, I got coffee challenges with all the kids. Uh, what about Will? No, maybe not Will. We'll catch him in uh, July. July when he's up. Yeah. Okay. Do you want cream? Uh, of course. Uh, first. Oh, I don't care. Of course right. I'm in. Let's do some pouring. How much sugar do you want? More than I should. Tell me when. When it's empty? I got half some. <laughs> That's good. Okay. And then we need to somehow get that potato out of there. That's the perfect plug for the cream is to put a chunk of potato in there. I'll do mine. How about yours? Go ahead. Good. Tell me when. Again, when it's empty. No, I'm good. <laughs> All right. Well, there you have it. Cheers to you, Ralph. To you. Thank you for uh, letting me come out and spend some time with you. Let's do it. Good batch. Oh, that's good. It is good. Yeah. All right, guys, gals. I think we're going to hit a thousand subscribers today. Today. Probably before bed. Uh, I might have to do some. I don't know. After this one, I feel it. I feel like we're going to get it. We're going to get it. But uh, thanks, everybody. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for the support and the channel. Can't wait to see. This is going to be a big summer. Uh, we've got some crazy stuff coming. Uh, thanks for sticking around and the support and everybody have a safe and fantastic week next week. All right. Cheers. Take care. Mm, that's, that's a good batch. That's a wrap. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs>